while I was recording this entire course, Axum updated to 0.6, and since then, 0.61. Although that dot one is actually just a documents update, and no functional changes to the uh, the backend framework has happened with that one. So uh, I went ahead and finished the course with 0 0.5 and it's gonna remain there, but we're adding this addendum here for updating all the lessons and then another video for updating the data uh, to 0 0.6. So let's uh, let's jump into it. Let's uh, Let's update and sort of see the process of the route lessons uh, for for Axum 0.6. So to begin with, we're going to open up cargo.toml and I'm going to bring you up to 0 0.6. Going to sort of let it go there. I did run a cargo clean right before this, just in case we run into any weirdness with um, uh, sort of like updating the versions and I was going back and forth. You should need to, but if you do run into any sort of like strangeness that just doesn't seem to be explained by anything, try a cargo clean. Uh, okay, so got you running. Let's go ahead and, oh, and I've got a bunch of errors here. So let's let's start the server. So cargo watch. It's gonna recompile Axum to 0 0.6.1. And Rust Analyzer, right away is telling me okay we can't uh, we can't do this into make service there's no method into make service found for router body now if we go to mod where we're creating the router and we're returning it it's yelling at us because well we're returning this router body well what we can do is just tell it you know what we're returning router which is going to be a stateless router and Bam, all those errors just go away really quickly. Easy, right? Okay, so we've uh, we've done that. We updated the version. We, uh, we're returning now a stateless router, and it seems to work. Let's go ahead and verify that everything is working for us in ThunderClient. So we have our routes here. We're gonna start with hello world. Well, we actually get a 404 not found. The reason for that is because we actually kind of removed it. So we want to put back hello world again. And I want this to be a get once more. So not really a problem with the um, the updates. It's more of we, uh, we kind of changed the code as an example. So back to you. All right, you're working. Mirror body string. Okay, I'm just going to go through hit send and make sure that everything is doing exactly what I expect it to do, which I believe it will because uh, generally generally speaking in Rust, when you don't get any error messages, usually things are working. Now in Axum, extensions are the exception for this. Always errors, we want that to, to have an error. In extensions, it's a runtime error. So we're only using extensions in one place. Okay, so no problems there. Go ahead and mark this done. Now, app state is a new thing in Axum. We can now use that instead of extension. So what do I mean by that? Well, down here we have this extension layer that, uh, that allows us to put this shared data and then the middleware uh, message is able to read from that. So if we go and take a look at middleware message, this is reading an extension of shared data. But what this means is, if I come back to our mod, if I just comment out this layer, I hit save, everything still compiles because it doesn't care. This is gonna be a runtime check. If we come back to middleware message and we hit run, we get this error. Shared data was not found. Perhaps we forgot to add it. That's pretty bad. That's that's not necessarily what we want, especially since we have all this data uh, at compile time. So let's uh, let's switch over to using a state. Now, shared data. This is fine. I'm gonna keep it called shared data. Uh, drive it as a clone is fine too. Uh, pub message string. All of this is okay. 
Um, we have shared data that we instantiate. We create the message. Okay, so hello from shared data. Uh, I am a state now, just to update so we can see it. Uh, we want to use with state and then put in that shared data. It does need to be clone for this. So that is just something to be aware of if your types in here don't implement clone. Um, the, the, best, the best practice would be to make sure that they do. Okay, so I can remove that layer. Now, everything is still gonna fail for us because we have to update uh, our middleware message here to use state instead. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna have state coming in here. It's gonna give us the state and the type is state and it's this, uh, this shared data. Okay. Then it's gonna be state dot message. Okay, let's, uh, let's run it, middleware message and this is working. But what if we want the same sort of feeling from, um, from extensions? where I don't put state in here, I have to do like state dot. What if instead I want to just go straight to the message here, which is type string. So I, had to, I would have to do string in here, and then I could just get the message straight out and use that. Um, okay, we do have an error though. This is, I'm getting this like sort of not great error message with it. Well, there's a uh, there's a macro that we can use that sort of makes it so we can have that same functionality. We have to add it though because it's behind a feature flag. So let's come down here and we'll do an add cargo add axiom. And we want these macros. So I'm gonna do a cargo add axiom dash capital F macros restart the server and when we derive it's going to be clone and from ref now no more error messaging and if i come back to middle message it's still working again so that from ref macro allows us to pull from state as if it's a bunch of different things and it's actually just individual extensions. Okay, the last part is just to clean up. So what do we have in here? We have a bunch of unused imports. Let's go ahead and delete all these. So we have you, we have unused shared data, uh, unused imports in mod, so we don't need this body anymore. We don't need this extension. Uh, we don't need this patch. And that's it. Uh, everything still seems to be working. If I just spot check, yeah, we're still getting, still getting exactly what we expect to get. So that is updating our the route uh, the route lessons to Axum 0 0.6. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna do the same thing, but update the data lessons to 0 0.6. It's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and see you in the next video. Bye.